What is the threefold purpose of a preacher in Scripture or pastor? You know, I now understand a pastor more is, a, is caring for the flock and things, whereas a preacher is more preaching the Word, getting the Word out there and things. Um, I'll say it this way. What is my, you know, as, as a preacher, a Bible-believing preacher, what is my purpose? What is the threefold purpose of this ministry? Acts chapter 20 spells it out very nicely. Acts chapter 20, verse 20 and 21 says, how I, And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house, testifying both to the, to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Preaching the gospel, number one. Number two, verse 28, jump down to verse 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, um, lost my pleasure, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Okay? Preaching the gospel to the lost. Feeding the church of God. What's the third leg? Verse 29. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn everyone night and day with tears. There's the threefold purpose. You know, the old saying, the three legs of a stool. A stool cannot stand if you take one of the legs away. It falls this way. Okay, you take this one away, it falls that way. All right. And I'll say this real quickly. There's three legs, so to speak, on the stool of good health. Okay, you have nutrition, proper rest, and exercise. Interesting. Excuse me. But the fact of the matter is, a good preacher, any good preacher that's worth their salt, as they say, um, you're going to have three purposes. You're going to be preaching the gospel to the lost. Okay, I try to do that in most of the sermons. I try to just get a little word in for lost people. You need to get saved. If you're not saved, you don't know for sure, make sure you get saved today. Second purpose is to feed the church of God. That's why for years and years and years at this ministry, um, I mean, this, this ministry originally started out just to defend the King James Bible, King James Video Ministries. That's what this whole thing was about. That's what I started out as, all right? Because being a former new version user, I thought I can kind of add something a little bit different that other people haven't, you know, done before. I'm not trying to build on other people's, you know, ministries and things and kind of ride their coattails. I'm trying to come out and say, hey, this is what I've learned. As a new version user, I'm going to come out and defend the King James Bible. So it went from that to, you know, uh, I was, and I was preaching the, the gospel in different ways, and it became a thing where I saw, hey, you know what, the body of Christ isn't being fed. A lot of these, you know, church buildings that I'm going to, there's people, they have questions, sincere questions. They're just not getting answers. So the Lord placed that burden in my heart to teach the Word of God. All right, and unfortunately... The third part of that is I have to rebuke false prophets from time to time. False prophets, false ministries, false preachers, whatever. Um, and I try not to do that. But just there's so much of it that I'm just like, what do you do? You know, well, brother, you just keep on preaching the word. You just keep on preaching. And it's like, yeah, and I see these false prophets, these wolves in sheep's clothing, and they come along, and I just see them pulling people away from this ministry and pulling people into this heresy. And I get these people, and I and they'll say, hey, you know, what do you think about Ed Finninger? And I say, uh, well, you know, don't listen to him. You know, he might say some true things with his defense of the King James or whatever else, but I don't recommend. Well, I don't know. I've just been kind of watching. I don't, I don't know. And then I don't hear from him again. Well, what do you think about Robert Breaker? And I, I, and then they're gone. See, false prophets will come along and they will siphon off believers. They'll just continually come in and just just pull the sheep away back into the woods and go back in and, you know, rip their insides out, essentially. Okay, I've seen this thing for years and years and years. So, for me to continue in the ministry, I can't forsake that third leg here that we read in Acts chapter 20, verses 29 through 31. I have to warn people about false prophets. And if you're going to be used of the Lord someday, you want to be in ministry yourself, that's the threefold purpose of ministry. Preach the gospel to the lost, feed the church of God, and warn about false prophets.
and I and I will say I'm I, you know, I realize that sometimes I've had way too much grace for people, and they and these false prophets come in and they steal a whole bunch of sheep away and they st take them off into the woods and destroy them. And I'm going, well, you know, I kind of have some grace for the wolf. <laughs> Not a very good idea. But uh, I know that a lot of people that, that are supportive of this ministry usually don't even comment in the comments section. So again, you know, you see people and, and it's just like, oh, there's so many comments against Brother Brian and there's so much, you know, people that just are exposing him. Maybe, maybe he is false or something. Well, check me out with the scripture. This is your standard. I'm not your standard, nor is any other preacher. That's the standard, as I always say. But you see, what happens is the vast majority of people, they're not even commenting on the videos that support this ministry. And this ministry continues to grow in spite of my best efforts to keep it down. You know? So I just wanted to put that out there um, and, and just explaining what I do, but also to encourage you out there if you're... If you're a, a young man or an older man or whoever you want to be in ministry uh, that wants to preach the word, and you know that's supposed to be there for men, I understand that. And a woman can have that so, sort of similar thing. There needs to be a concern for lost people. There needs to be a concern for your, you know, brethren in the Lord. And there also needs to be some warning about false prophets. And, I mean, it's it's really true for any Christian, but specifically so for preachers. Men that are called into that oversight type of, of a ministry. Um, witness to the lost. Absolutely. Feed the church of God. Warn about false prophets. Those are the threefold uh, legs of the stool of ministry. Proper biblical ministry.